can happen. <laughs> you never know. Well, speaking of New Year's, Happy New Year again. And it is the second day of 2019. We hope it's going really well. Um, we decided to pull in Henry Amar, who's an international speaker and, and influencer on Instagram, to talk to us about setting goals. It's a really important time to think about that if you're into that. Absolutely. Um, so where do you start with setting goals? Well, first of all, Happy New Year. Yes. Um, where do you start? First, I know we're past 2018, yeah. but I think we need to go back and just extract every good thing from 2018 and leave everything there that needs to stay there oh. by asking the right questions I think if you ask good questions like what are the best decisions I made what yeah. are the greatest things that happened last year just so when we go back and say why were those things the greatest things to make sure we incorporate those reasons into this year mm -hmm. and what do I need to let go of who do I need to forgive what do I need to what strings do I need to remove that are gonna hold me back from this year I like that so kind of take an assessment yep right of 2018 what were the good things what were the bad yeah. things what are the things I want to take with me what did I learn so that you feel that maybe that high of, absolutely uh, and that self-gratification of, yep. of that accomplishment, but then what did I, what do I want to let go? Absolutely. It's not past. too late to throw it back to December. You yeah. know, right <laughs> throw, there. Throw it back to last year. <laughs> exactly. I love that. So after you've done that part of it and you've assessed kind of 2018, mm -hmm. where do you go from there and how do you go into 2019? Just one, one thing, all of us set goals every year. Mm -hmm. so, some stick, a lot don't, right? Yeah. I think first is get really, really, really clear on what you want. Mm. And some people say, I just want to be healthy. You healthier. Mm. You eat a salad, you're healthier. Congratulations, your goal's done, right? So I think getting really, really clear on what you want. And once you get clear on what you want, becoming specific, they say measurable. Mm. And the thing is like, we know how to set goals, I think for the most part, mm -hmm. but I think how do we keep goals is probably a more important question. Because yes. so many times by the third week of January, life calls, everyone's, everything's screaming at us, and now we get caught back up into this previous life, oh. and then we're stuck back to where Absolutely, we were. Absolutely, right? Because right. it's hard to break that old habit. I mean, I'm right. a victim of that three weeks in, and I'm like, crap, <laughs> I've already messed up. So how do, how, do you, how do you maintain that? You know, first, I think we have to understand our power of choice. Mm. We have to make a real decision. The root word of decision is, means to cut off. And when I say real decision, it's like, a decision does what it says it was going to do after the feeling is gone, right? Oh. We can get excited and be like, yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the gym. The gyms are always packed the first two days, right? I think that's actually the definition of commitment. Yeah. It's sticking through with something even after the feeling of making the commitment is gone. A hundred percent. After it's gone. And so how do we do that? First, I think we understand it's making a real commitment and understanding that when I make a decision to go from where I am to where I want to be, there's going to be a gap, which includes discomfort which includes mm. failure, not getting it right all the time. Yeah. And it's understanding our fears, stepping out of our comfort zone. So how do you manage that? How do you manage that discomfort? How do you manage those, those fears that, that might come in? That's a great question. Um, first, just knowing that your comfort zone will expand as you stretch it, mm. right? Our for, our, you do things now probably that you were uncomfortable doing before. Yeah. This show is probably so easy, so much more easy for you because you've been doing it for so long and your rapport with your Harder team. Harder at first though, but. Right, <laughs> yeah. which, which is amazing. So I think just understanding Understanding that and knowing it's reframing failure. Mm. When you fail, you're not a failure, you're a doer, mm. right? You're a grower, you're gonna learn from it. So I think before you get into it, anticipate what obstacles are gonna come your way and then make a decision of how you're gonna show up when they do actually come your way. So, you know, yeah, so. So be clear about those goals and then anticipate what mm -hmm. things might come in mm -hmm. the way, right? Anticipate those things and then maybe give solutions to those things before they even come. Absolutely. Is that right? Absolutely. Okay, and then wrapping up really quick, um, what would you say is the biggest thing moving forward? Um, I, biggest thing for every, you mean just wait. Just in general. Oh man, I, I just think it's so important for everybody to just really take back charge of the life. Mm -hmm. and, and what would you do if you weren't afraid? Mm -hmm. Like actually living on purpose this year and going full out. I just think mm -hmm. it's so important for people to live what they're supposed to give the world and not what's safe. So maybe that's a good question to ask is well, as you're setting your goals, if you want to be really intense about them, maybe say, what would I do if I didn't have any fear attached? Yep. Um, and then maybe that's a really great place to start with your goals. And if they're a little bit uh, less intense than that, then that's great too. Um, but, uh, but setting those goals, I think are, those are some really great tips to doing that. Where can people find you real quick?